the second part of the video series and here we add another page and uh, the gravity uh, actually we I'm just adding a button here for the sign out thing as you don't have anything here so once the user is logged in then you need to sign in out otherwise we cannot check that okay so sign out and also you can get the idea about how the sign out thing is working create the method in the user profile page and here we just creating like that m ok firebase uh, auth dot get instance dot get uh, dot sign out sign out so this method actually sign out the user and after that we need to send them to the main activity so start activity user profile dot this to main activity dot class and also finish this page so this way we can go back to the main activity while using the thing so we uh, did not store the user data just uh, using that and we save the user uh, like creating the user but right now we need user data so for that the traditional way don't have um, special things but we are just creating a, a fundamental thing okay uh, let's create a function okay function can sort out our work so store user data and create the method in our main activity and don't need that just call this function anywhere you want to store the data so when user is creating the uh, account for the first time then that time we need to store the user data and you think that why we need the store data function for uh, user login page as if the user didn't save their data we just give them the reminder to store the data so that's why we call that here also and after that here we check that for base first door dot collection user dot document and document could be anything you can get kind user dot get UI okay you ID dot get dot add on complete listener and here we check that if task dot get result dot exist that's when user already saved their data and don't need to again store the data or else uh, we need to store the data so if the user already have data then don't uh, hesitate to send them to the actual working page so start activity new intent main activity dot this to and also we need to pass them to user profile okay 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 user profile dot class and finish this page so if the user don't have data then we need to store the data and what type of data we are going to store so for that we just create a array and that can be done by uh, has method. The first parameter should be string, and the second parameter is object. And the user new has method. So we are storing user email, and we can get that by using mod dot get kind user dot get email, and also user dot user name but we don't know what is the username 
as this is the traditional way so actually we need to pass the name here and pass the name here and what we need more is user image this could be a string also so pass it here why I am just passing the parameter in the function is we are just calling this from anywhere so just pass the things and what more we need is we have user email, user name, user image and another thing is user UID which is unique to the user and we get that by a mouth dot get trend user dot get UID perfect we are storing these things so create that uh, like this whereas firestore dot collection and we know the name of collection is user and dot which document should be in, used to show that is current user get UID is the our document and set what should we set is user and then add on complete listener here we are checking that if task is successful then send the user to the main working page and oh uh, okay and finish this page or if anything goes wrong just so a toast so user can understand what's error um, okay I'm going too much faster what error the user get get exception dot get message perfect um, so it go give us the error so um, change sickness to okay 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 here we are passing username and user image as blank that means we are using traditional way and we don't have names and username uh, here also okay so errors are done so let's run this application and see is it working or not okay our app is up and running as you can see that we are in the profile page and we have the sign up button as we already logged in that's why this page is coming so let's click on sign up and it will come back to the login page and right now we have created the account using this email id so once we click on login the user data should save on our firebase so go to the store uh, database and here as you can see that nothing is here no data is stored here and let's log in using our password click on login it will take some time as it is storing our data okay we are logged in and our data is also stored so refresh this page and let's see the data is stored or not yep the data is stored and the email ID is that as you see and username and image is blank as we passed blank so that can be good but we need image and name is the perfect way to catch um, we will do that in the next part of the video then that can be the last part uh, using Facebook but um, 
I think I can make another one and we are extending to fourth part of this video. Um, in the next part, we will uh, store user data from Facebook and also implement the Facebook authentication. And in the last part, uh, we will see that how we can get image from our phone storage and store it in the Firebase and also get the URL for the image and store it in the user image section. So thanks for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, like it and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. And also you can contact me personally to provide your ideas and also ask me to make your videos. And for now, bye-bye.